ठीक है the topic from which we will start today is inflation and we defined inflation in the previous class it was the persistent rise in the general price level as indicated by these increases taking the change as a percentage in the price level the previous year what does it mean that the prices of the goods are increasing and they are increasing continuously the increase in the prices consistent with the passage of time it is not such that that the price of a good increases or decreases for a smaller period of time and then after that the price becomes normal no by inflation we mean that uh, the word inflation in itself means the rise in prices okay theek hai that is the prices should increase if a product was of a certain if a product price was certain at uh, in previously now its price has to be more than that otherwise it is not regarded as inflation and secondly kya hoga ke its price should be more than the previous year prices along with that the prices should continue to increase it is not such that that the, the increase in prices is for a smaller period of time and then after that again prices jo hai wo uh, apni purani prices pe aa jaye then that will not be considered as inflation that will be a temporary shift in the prices so by inflation the simplest definition is the persistent rise in the general price level the second thing which we have over here is that the general price level should increase that is it is not uh, inflation will not happen in that case where the prices of one or two or just a few goods increases rather the prices of most of the goods should increase in the economy jo aapki economy mein majority goods hai unki prices jo hai they should increase just just like simply if we give the example of this uh, present time economy the prices are increasing and overall the prices of the goods are increasing over uh, at a consistent rate theek hai consistently they are increasing this is known as inflation the inflation again we are talking about the inflation rate now it is clear to all of us that by inflation the by the word rate we mean to calculate something or that factor in the percentage so therefore the inflation rate is calculated using the same method used for calculating the growth rate in real gdp that is isme hum kya karenge ke pichle saal ki values ko current year ki value se minus kar denge then we will divide them with the previous year values multiply karenge isko 100 se so that we get the uh, inflation rate therefore <clears throat> for example over here they have taken the example of consumer price index we have calculated consumer price index we have studied consumer price index in detail okay so the values of consumer price index for 2015 and 2016 are given and these values are such that in 2016 the consumer price index values were 128.7 okay it can be in millions of dollars it can be in thousands of dollars okay and then the consumer price index value in the uh, previous year was 126.8 therefore the current year consumer price index minus the previous year consumer price index we will divide it by by the previous year consumer price index and multiply it with 100 that is the value over here is 1.5% okay now how to interpret this 1.5% last time also when i was teaching you this thing over here there was a little bit of confusion dekho na 100 1.5% 100 1.5 is equal to 101.5 ओके ठीक है तो इसका मतलब ये है कि अगर जैसे लास्ट टाइम हमने पढ़ा था हमारे पास जो बेस ईयर पे वैल्यू होती है वो 100 के इक्वल होती है अब जब हमने इन्फ्लेशन रेट को कैलकुलेट किया नाउ इट इज ग्रेटर देन 100 ओके बाय ग्रेटर देन 100 वी मीन दैट द इन्फ्लेशन हैज दैट इज देयर हैज बीन इन्फ्लेशन इन द इकोनॉमी इन द ईयर 2000 2016 यानी कि 1.5 परसेंट से प्राइसेस आपकी इंक्रीज हुई है इसका क्या मतलब है कि अगर आपके किसी गुड की प्राइस वन हंड्रेड थी 2015 में 
तो 2016 में उसकी प्राइस कितनी होगी 101.5 क्लियर इफ द प्राइस ऑफ एनी गुड इन 2015 वाज 100 रुपीस दिस इज सिंपलेस्ट इंटरप्रेटेशन ठीक है ना तो द प्राइस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर गुड विल बी one point uh, will increase by 1.5 percent in the current year and therefore how much will it be? 101.5 will be done. Now if you have any question you can ask me because the topic after this is a little bit different from the previous one because it is related to employment and over here we are studying the concept of inflation. If there is any question, please raise your hands and ask me. Otherwise, the calculation method is exactly just like the one we use for consumer price index calculation. For consumer price index calculation. Why did you do this? 100 plus 1.5 is the same thing. Which is the last thing that you have to do. Okay, now I'm going to explain it. आप लोग जब क्वेश्चन पूछा करो मुझे सिर्फ बताया करो कि आपका नेम क्या है एंड फ्रॉम विच डिपार्टमेंट आ रही हूँ देखो यहाँ पे आ जो we have this macro economics macro economic performance को हमने मेजर किया ठीक है करंट ईयर में जो हमारे पास स्टूडेंट प्राइस इंडेक्स था दैट वाज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ठीक व्हाई हंड्रेड बिकॉज़ 80.5 डिवाइडेड � एक्सेक्टली इसी तरह से हमारे पास जब हमने इन्फ्लेशन को कैलकुलेट किया तो हमारे पास जो 2015 है उसमें इन्फ्लेशन की कैलकुलेशन कैसे होगी? That is 126.8 डिवाइडेड बाय 126.8 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 100 वहाँ पे ये वाला पोर्शन हम निकाल देते हैं तो हमारे पास वैल्यू क्या आ जाती है 100 के इक्वल एक्सेक्टली जस्ट ल वो स्लाइड कहाँ पे ये जस्ट लाइक दिस वन ठीक है उसके बाद जब हमने नेक्स्ट ईयर का फाइंड आउट किया वो हमारे पास है 87.20 वी डिडक्टेड दी बेस ईयर या प्रीवियस ईयर्स प्राइसेस फ्रॉम इट एंड डिवाइडेड इट बाय 80.50 तो आपके पास एक वैल्यू आई थी 108.3 ठीक ये 108.3 आपके पास कैसे आया ये हमारे पास इस तरह से सॉरी इस 108.3 को क्या आप 100 को माइनस करोगे तो यू विल गेट 8.3 डेट इस व्हाट वी गोट इस डेट देर इस 8.3 परसेंट चेंज इन दी कॉस्ट ऑफ बास्केट प्राइसेस क्लियर या कॉस्ट ऑफ बास्केट ने 8.3 परसेंट चेंज आया एक्सेक्टली इसी तरह से हमने यहाँ पे इन्फ्लेशन को भी म ये 1.5 परसेंट ये बता रहा है कि अगर प्राइसेस लास्ट ईयर 100 थी इस ईयर 101.5 परसेंट होगी या फिर सिंपलेस्ट वर्ड्स में इसको फर्दर स्टडी करो तो जब इसकी वैल्यू 100 से ज्यादा होगी इन्फ्लेशन होगी जब इसकी वैल्यू जो है 100 से कम होगी तो इन्फ्लेशन रेट जब 100 से ज्यादा होगा तो इन्फ्लेशन होगा I hope yes, you can get to you now. Okay.